Hey, welcome back everybody. It's great to be with you. Uh, as you can see, I got the, one of the residence halls behind me. Uh, it's now, it's been labeled, I think, the new old residence hall because we have the new new residence halls. So uh, it's appropriate that I should be able to now announce to you that we actually have names for all the residence halls. Uh, the monastic community had considered names and they voted and approved last night three names. So the one behind me is actually St. Michael. Uh, it's actually in, being named in honor of obviously St. Michael the Archangel, uh, but we have a, a very generous benefactor of the college, uh, Mike Snyder, who is an alumnus of the college, just uh, loves the place and has been just an incredible contributor in, in every possible way you can imagine. And so in honor of him, we're gonna have a little plaque inside the residence hall just saying that the, the name, his name is, is up there with uh, St. Michael. Uh, the other two, the new, new residence halls, are uh, the women's is going to be uh, St. Gertrude the Great and the men's is going to be St. Gregory the Great. Uh, they're both Benedictine saints. Uh, I kind of like it because, you know, St. Benedict and St. Scholastica uh, have sort of been shortened to the saints. You know, when somebody asks where you I'm over in the saints. Well, these can be the greats. Uh, so we have St. Gertrude the Great, St. Gregory the Great, and St. Michael Hall. So. Uh, I'm really happy about that because it is difficult to talk about these new residence halls without having a name. Uh, we'll have signage up, we'll have an opening and a blessing at some time, we'll announce that in the future, but I just wanted to give you the names as soon as I could. As far as other things going on, we have the play continuing uh, that started last week called The Blythe Spirit. Uh, from what I hear, it's, it's a great comedy and uh, have gotten great reviews, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm going tomorrow night and I can't wait to, to see our students and the community in action. Uh, athletics is uh, just doing great. I don't know if you can hear some music be you know, behind me or to the side of me here. Soccer today, we have women's soccer and men's soccer. I think they're both playing Anderson University. Uh, I think it's probably more of a, uh, a preseason game, but it's, uh, they're looking good out there. It's, uh, I'm hoping I'm gonna get a chance to get out there tonight as well. Also, uh, Casey Edder, who's a junior forward on the women's field hockey team, uh, the uh, National uh, Collegiate uh, Field Hockey Association uh, actually voted or put her on the watch list for All-American status coming up, so that's exciting. There are very few women have been listed on that list for the year, and so we'll be hoping and praying for her that she has a great season and that she actually can attain that honor at the end of the year. The construction continues. Uh, I wish I could tell you that it's going faster than expected. It's not. Uh, if anything, we. We get little dribs and drabs from construction to say, well, we think it's going to be here or it's going to be a little bit later. But you can go to the site, which is the uh, bac.edu forward slash construction to get uh, some more information about the status of the residence halls and when we believe they're going to be open. Uh, it seems to me like it always seems to be a moving date, but uh, we are getting closer and closer. I've seen progress being made, so hopefully we'll, we'll get there soon. And on the, on the student life side, we have the Crusader Involvement Fair. Uh, which is going to be out on the quad. It's going to be next Wednesday the 6th. Uh, I think it's 4 to 6 p.m. I check that out to make sure I'm right. And uh, it basically it's all the clubs and organizations we have come out and it gives everybody a chance to see what we have to offer and what interest you might have in terms of getting involved in, in some aspect of the college. A uh, lot of great, great organizations and groups. So I encourage you to take part in that. Uh, and then as always, you know, I, I see birthdays as just that reminder of gratitude. Uh, we're just so blessed to have the individuals here in our community that are here. And uh, the fact that they were born uh, is just a way, great way of thanking God for them and also remembering them in a special way. Uh, Chris Anderson, uh, head baseball coach, it's his birthday. Uh, Chris has just done such an exemplary job in all ways. Uh, the success they're coming off of last season, can't wait to see what they do this year. Miss Carrie Bailey, uh, who is the executive assistant for athletics. And I mean, my gosh, she does so much and especially a lot of it behind the scenes that we don't see. And so I'm just so grateful for all that she does to help the athletic department continue to run. Dr. Travis Cook, who is professor of government and uh, political philosophy. Uh, just a, a wonderful, great teacher, a deep thinker. Uh, I know he's a great joy for our students just to sit down and have some of these wonderful conversations. Mr. Michael Ellis, uh, Mike is Director of Alumni Relations, and uh, again, we're just so blessed to have him here. And we have Kristen Hayes, who is Chair and Instructor of Dance and Performing Arts. Uh, she just does such an incredible job, you know, all things arts and theater. She's involved in so many ways, and uh, we're just so grateful for all that she does for our students in terms of mentoring them and teaching them. 
Uh, Dr. Gary Scott is professor and chair of the business department. Uh, Gary has been here for some time and he's just a, a wonderful contributor to the college and the academics here. Uh, Mr. Stephen Ward, assistant professor of criminal justice, uh, just does so much for our students in terms of the practical experiences of internships and uh, being able to visit uh, actual hearings and, and to go to court and to see what prosecutors and defenders are really doing in real life and it just, uh, just, just does a wonderful job for us. So if you see any of them, please wish them uh, a happy birthday and uh, just remember how grateful we are that they're here with us in this community. Uh, again, semester's off to a great start. It's uh, just places full and lively and great love and action going on and uh, just looking forward to it continuing. So hope to see you on campus sometime soon. Till then, take care and God bless.